Remember when you wished for what you have today? There was a moment, a moment when you decided you wanted something more. A moment when you chose the University of Central Oklahoma to help you get there. Maybe it was your first time living away from mom and dad. Or maybe you are a mom or a dad who found a way to make it work. You took that first step and forged your own path. You made new friends. You connected with your professors, advisors, and staff. Explored campus. Found opportunity. Pushed your creativity. You worked hard. You laughed hard. You played hard. You dreamed hard. And now, that dream, that wish, is realized. You are a college graduate. You are a Bronco for life. This campus and its people and its places it will always be a part of you. Though this chapter isn't ending the way any of us planned, you, class of 2020, are a part of something special. You are a member of the Bronco family, a community that's been there for you and always will be. Keep dreaming, keep wishing, keep doing. And remember, your Bronco family is right behind you, cheering you on. Congratulations, class of 2020. And now, your virtual commencement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our sincere pleasure to welcome you to the University of Central Oklahoma Spring 2020 Commencement Ceremony. I am Charlotte Simmons. And I am Gary Stewart. We are the co-interim vice presidents for academic affairs at UCO. Thank you for joining us virtually to honor our graduates and those who have supported them during their journey to this milestone event. Families and friends of the graduates, those of us at UCO could not be more pleased that you have joined us. The entire UCO community welcomes you to this event and we share your pride for the accomplishments of these students. We would like to take a moment to note that particularly during this past semester, which has presented all of us with unforeseen challenges in adjusting to a virtual learning environment with very little notice, UCO exists and succeeds because of its talented and dedicated faculty. Faculty, please accept our sincere gratitude for your contributions to student success. Supporting faculty as they help students learn and coordinating all of the details necessary to make this happen are the department chairs and deans. Department chairs and deans, we thank you for all you do on behalf of the students and faculty. UCO's president is tasked with providing the vision and direction for our institution. She embodies the tradition and strengths of UCO through the many leadership skills she brings to the job. In a few moments, you will hear comments from the 21st president of the University of Central Oklahoma, President Patty Newhold Ravi Kumar. President Newhold Ravi Kumar, on behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs, these spring 2020 graduates, including all candidates for all degrees, have been recommended by the faculty of the University of Central Oklahoma to receive their degrees. 
we recommend to you that subject to the satisfaction of all obligations to the university, their degrees, as listed in the printed program, be conferred. In the words of Robert Kennedy, there are those who look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. We charge all of our spring 2020 graduates to continue to strive to be in the latter group. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you will help us congratulate and celebrate our spring 2020 graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's truly an honor to be with you here today. I love doing the graduation ceremonies at the University of Central Oklahoma. I like waiting outside the auditorium with you and sharing your enthusiasm. I love to, wa to watch you walk into the auditorium itself and read the exciting things that you've written on the top of your caps or the artwork that you've created. But probably most of all, I enjoy the enthusiasm of your parents, your grandparents, your children, your grandchildren, and your friends as you walk across the stage to complete this monumental occasion. Obviously, today's ceremony is a little different. But today I, along with the other regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma, extend our congratulations to each of you and wish you the very best on your journey going forward. This is an unusual time, to say the least. Your classes transition to online. You may not have seen your friends since March when you left for spring break. If you remained on campus, it was quieter, emptier and no longer had the vibrancy that it had only a few weeks ago. I'm sure this was not the way you envisioned spending your last few days before graduation. Since March, the entire world has changed. It's changed in how people work, study, interact, and think about their future. You've worked hard for years and finished your degree right as the world abruptly shifted. I always like to think of this as a challenge, a challenge to overcome, to make a difference, to create a better outcome, and you've done exactly that. Through all of this, you've modeled one of the characteristics that will ensure your future success, the ability to adapt to changing circumstance. You've persevered by overcoming the most unexpected of obstacles and achieved your goal. Graduates, I find great hope in your ability to adapt, in your resilience, and in your accomplishments that we celebrate today. UCO is putting forward capable, smart, and curious professionals into a world at a time when we need you the most. As you graduate today, I offer you my congratulations along with those of the other regents and wish you the very best going forward. Thank you for joining us online today in our first ever virtual commencement. The class of 2020's graduation celebration will be our most unique, most highly attended, and most technologically advanced in our history. No traditional ceremony would suffice for the class of 2020. This spring, you've experienced a rare and life-changing event due to COVID-19. Each generation has its defining moments, and this undoubtedly will become one of yours. I can tell you that this event has definitely become one of ours. You've been challenged to stay focused, make tough decisions, adapt quickly, and think beyond your present circumstances to meet your future. The diploma you're receiving today is not only an acknowledgement of your past accomplishments, but an investment in your future. I miss seeing your faces and shaking your hands as new graduates, but I'm excited to know that so many more people are able to join in your celebration. COVID-19 may have cut short your final moments on campus with your teachers, friends, and traditions, but nothing can steal away the fact that you've earned your college degree. We are immensely proud of your resilience and persistence. And today marks a milestone. We welcome a new generation of Broncos to the long legacy of graduates from the state's oldest education institution. You are joining an elite group of educated citizens of the world who have earned a college degree. This is a significant moment for you, for your family, the university, and society. Graduates, I encourage you to look back at your academic journey and acknowledge the people in your life who have made this moment possible for you. Their patience, support, and encouragement ran parallel to your efforts, and they are the artifacts of their belief in you. 
Our faculty and staff have dedicated themselves to nurturing your potential and creating opportunities for your development. Your faculty are watching this ceremony with you today because they have been personally invested in your success. They taught, counseled, advised, and listened to you. But your success was also uplifted by the support you received from family and friends as you worked toward this moment. Many of them may be watching the ceremony with you or from somewhere else in the world. Please make sure to acknowledge their support and show your gratitude to them. When I look back on my own graduation ceremony, I honestly can't tell you what it looked like. I can't tell you what was said, what music was performed, or even the commencement address. But what I do remember from that day is how I felt. For the first time in years, I felt the muscles in my shoulders relax. I felt ecstatic to be saying goodbye to papers and tests, 8 a.m. classes and late night study sessions. I felt a sense of relief as if I'd crossed a finish line. But I also felt a twinge of hesitation as I was preparing to say goodbye to close friends, to leave traditions and special places behind, knowing that all of it had finally come to an end. I knew the next days and weeks were not going to be predictable like they had been for 16 school years, and the onus was now on me to design my next step and forge my own path in the world. If you do nothing else today, take a moment and take stock of how you feel right now. Pay attention to which emotions are connected to your experiences here and which emotions are linked to your feeling about your future. I'm excited for you today because you will move from a journey designed for you to another of your own making. It is this movement I want to be, bring to the forefront of your minds. The university proudly claims the Latin phrase ubi modus est as its motto. This translates to where movement is. It is essential to the future of our society that the university is a place that generates movement in this world and in the lives of our students. Movement from your paradigms to accepting new ideas. Movement to a new understanding of yourself and others. Movement to places outside of your comfort zone. And in this tumultuous time of divisive rhetoric, movement toward each other. The ripples and waves you will create throughout your life that will impact your children and grandchildren, that will impact the communities in which you live and work, are dependent upon your choice to keep your life in motion. Your restlessness, your hope for a better future, or your answering the call to something different may have brought you to the university. This refusal to accept stagnation is movement toward your future. Martin Luther King Jr. urged us to do the same. He said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. We provided the opportunities for you to learn and grow, as well as support for you to persist, because we believe in you. I know that you, having accepted the challenge and the value of movement in your life, leave here transformed in deeply meaningful ways. And although you are now a graduate, I encourage you to always remain a student. In a moment, we will call your name and have a virtual walk across stage. This virtual walk is symbolic of your journey to this moment. You came to us as the person who imagined a better future for yourself and for your family. You are leaving as the person who has been transformed and has the opportunity to apply what you've learned to make the lives of those around you better. By now, you should have received your cap, tassel, and diploma sleeve in the mail. I encourage you to wear your cap and tassel right now and savor the moment. If you have it handy, hold your diploma sleeve in your hand and feel the significance of its purpose. I hope you'll accept this diploma sleeve and the diploma that will soon fill it as your charge to walk your journey with purpose, courage, and humility. Thank you. Kaylee Arnell Pate. Thanks so much to the faculty and staff at UCO who made my experience truly transformative. And thanks so much to my friends and family who supported me every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Samir Abbas. Elira Rukie Ablet. Matthew Agag. Jared Remington Ainsworth. Erica S. Akers Verdian Ako Achancho Eda 
Itohan Darnell Akpiri. Russia Al Amire. Hussein Othman Al Asafra. Adam Niyama Al Bahadili. Josie Marie Albright Haley Joe Allen Abdullah Nawaf Al Shamari Zoe C. Andrews Amanda E. Arias Tiana Ember Arrigan. Hi, my name is Tiana Arrigan, and I just wanted to thank my friends, family, and my cats for supporting me through my journey and getting my degrees. Joshua Clay Adobo. Kendall Lauren Babb. Selena Sarah Baldwin. Haley Banks Kyler Jarrett Barker Mohammed Abdul Basset Jack Alva Bachelder Colton Jake Beard Ezoa Paul Emil Becro Colin Wes Berger William E. Bigby Laji Jr. Hamed Binate Ali Kate Blundell Frederick Gerard Boras Drew Bosler Emily A. Boyd Ashley J. Boyer Kendra Ann Brogdon Jacob Wood Brox Shelby Buchanan Kamisha Diana Busby Nicole A. Buxton Zachary S. Canaday Jaylene Suzette Canales Ivo Martin Carranza da Cunha Humberto Cervantes Misty D. Champion Kira F. Chima Oswa Sajid Chima Jian Chiang Branson Chick Aram Cho Yebin Cho Karijato Sise Katie Lynn Clanton Madeline Marie Clark Eric Klein 
Zachary Garrett Colson. Samantha Copeland. Bailey Ann Cotts. Baron Connor Cox. Kara Renee Crandell. Upasna Singh Dadabai. I'd like to thank all my friends and family for supporting my journey in college and we'll see what the future holds. Um, but thank you to everyone who supported me. Fu Tai Dong. Alexandra Joe Davis. Dakota Davis. Taylor Martin Dawkins. Shelby Denny. Osvaldo Diaz. Liesel A. Delise. Dalton James Dowdy. Gina Rose Doyle. Zachary David Drain. Aaron Elizabeth Drukey. Kelsey K. Dunn. Sarah C. Dunnigan. Ariana K. Dysinger. Jeffrey Don Eager. Alexis Eck. Kaylee M. Ellis. Fatima A. Enriquez. Kyle M. Espinosa. Nomel Mark Arthur Esso. Ria Alonzo Yulberg. Sarah D. Everhart. Emily Claire Falcon. Thank you to all my friends, family, and the great faculty at UCO for helping me get through the past five years. Now for my PhD at OU. Rachel C. Fast. Caitlin Flores. Rafael Paul Flores. Shelby Louise Garcia. Kira Michelle Recevi Guile. Eric W. Genheimer. Sierra Gregg Melissa L. Gregg William Hunter Gregson Remy C. Gutierrez Jillian M. Hagen Creighton S. Hale. Kevin Halverson. Caitlin Brianne Harlan.
Rebecca May Harper. Greta N. Harris. Thank you, Fred, Tyler, Daria, Bethany, Mason, and all my friends and family for helping me do this. I did it! Madison S. Hartenstein. Scotland Cornelius Haskins. Molly Grace Hurrid. Natasha Mari Hupel. Desiree Leah Heisel. Caitlin Ashley Hickey. Braden Ollie Hicks. Vaiti Nuho. Leticia R. Holland. Zachary M. Holiday. Valerie Renee Holzbaugh. Corinne Nicole Hood. Sama Homam. Anna Kathleen Hudson. Henry Austin Eba. Giselle Ibanez. Christy Ingram. Taylor C. James. Brianna S. Jurgensen. Chi G. Kirsten Aaron Johnson. Rachel Johnson. Griffin Matthew Jones. Madison Nicole Jones. Marissa K. Jones. Mary Christine Grace Jones. Daniel Kwang Hyun Ju. Sabine Kapali. James Karki. Cameron Kyle Keaty. Eric Michael Kalo. Caitlin R. Kurskeeter. Usha Kiran Kadka. Yung Yi Kim. Sudong Kim. Samya Kodam. Kaulanan Abdul Latif Kone. Wyatt Matthew Landreth. Nicole Lang. Matthew Lane Lanig. Matthew Stephen Larson. Jonathan Conley Latham. Michaela C. Lee. William Guess Leonard. 
Hi, my name is Gus Leonard. I'm a funeral service major. I just want to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my brother, my fiance, and all my coworkers. Thanks for all the love and support, guys. Rachel Aaron Lester. Maven J. Lewis Joshua Lee Bryce Edward Lilly Dayebga Lionel Hayden Long Jenny Jiayi Lu Josh Wen Mak Paul Ivan Makanya I want to thank my family, I want to thank my children and wife, I want to thank my UCO family, I want to thank my military family that have made this thing possible. Thank you. William Mellon Lindley Ann Malone Stephanie Nicole Monser Michael Shane Martin Cassidy Joy Massey Tony Matthew Troy Matthew Francis Catherine Matthews Asha McCoy Lauren McGoodwin Rachel Melissa McGuigan Jacob C. McGuire Cassandra Nicole Metz Carlston J. Mezier Hannah Michelle Mitchell Brandon T. Moore Preston McKinley Moore Bailey Rebecca Morin Mandy K. Morris Brenda Morrison Durga Nadasan Jessica Taylor Newsel Derek Rafer Newsom Chris Doy Nguyen Diep Le Nguyen Yep, Nguyen. Kong Fook Nguyen. Lindsay Nguyen. Min N. Nguyen. Natalie Sandra Nguyen. Tommy Nguyen Holly Marie Ogle Gabriella Nicole Oliver Jamesetta Marie Osborne Brittany Michelle Patton 
Carlos Guillermo Palu. Patrick Ryan Perizic. Addison Lynn Parsons. Madison Taylor Peresco. Caleb Peters. Jessica Ann Petty. My T Fam. Terry Don Phillips. Joshua Miguel Pinzon Guevara. Brittany Lee Pointer. Abigail Deanne Poole. Tiffany Michelle Poole. Hi, my name is Tiffany Poole. I'm graduating with a BS in biology, and I would just like to thank all my friends and family for their love and support. Shinette D. Porter. Deborah Lee Pravaznik. Charvine Raj Rajendran. Congratulations to everybody who has graduated and uh, a special thank you to friends and family there. Good luck and all the best for the future. Carly Raper. Ashley Jordan Raymond Larry Lee Ressler Michaela K. Reynolds Gabrielle A. Roberts Caleb Andrew Robinson Megan P. Robinson Eric Michael Rohrbacher Anita Guadalupe Rojas Yosuke Sakurai Lisa R. Sanchez Lakota Lynn Saceda Antonio Nicholas Savage Sydney L. Shear Jennifer Marie Schmidt Connor Stephen Self Kelsey Ray Severson Catherine Alexis Shanks Kayla M. Shaw Meredith Lou Sheets Kelsey Ship Susan Shrestha Justin Ulrich Siakam Liuga Minbo Sim Nelly Celia Sime Sime Casey Alexandra Scala Kiera S. Smith Thank you to my family and my friends for joining me for what has been five very long years. I love each and every one of you. 
Keith Lee Snyder. Kelsey Deanna Lynn Soto. Brandy L. Steelman. Lauren K. Stetnich. Hi, my name is Lauren Stetnich with the BS in Biomedical Sciences. I'm currently applying to PA programs in Oklahoma, and I want to thank my family for all their support. Brianna Stevens. Jean Stridum. Rajendra Subedi. Ina C. Sukat. Michaela D. Swanson. Dakshini Tamil Arasu. Thank you to my family, friends, and faculty for being with me throughout this experience. I love you guys. Yung Dai Tang. Audrey M. Thomas. Erica R. Thomas. Shalita Aquila Thompson. Kendra Cheyenne Thompson. Logan Thomas Thurm. Josiah Luck Tech Tai. Shi Zhe Ting. Roshan Tiwari. Diana N. Tu. Elizabeth J. Trenary. Courtney Page Tall. Zachary Macklin Turner. Connor Vene. Cecilia Ton Vu. Jacob Cole Waldrip. Stephanie Nicole Walker. Olivia Rose Washington. Carly R. Watson. Kinsey Nicole Watts. Carly Ray Wickeser. Nathan Allen Wickware. Gabrielle Aubrey Williams. Isu Amphon W. Williams. This one I dedicated to my family, um, all the people that supported me all through my four years. Thank you to UCO. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Kaylin Ray Williams. Madison M. Williams. Stephen Wayne Woods. Amber Wumavova. Cody Zane Yelton. Ri Hao Yong. Oh, yeah. 
Amber A. Young. Callie Youngbird. Across the plains converging westward, seeking hope anew. Comfort learning, comfort growing, central is our view. You see, oh, our alma mater, honor grows and blue. Graduates, I invite you to stand now as your degree is conferred upon you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and subject to the satisfaction of all obligations to the university, by the authority vested in me by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education and the Board of Regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma, it is my pleasure to confer upon each of you the appropriate certificate and degree with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. You may now move your tassels. Congratulations.